Okay, so it's been a while since I did a vlog, but um, today's October 28th, and our small town is having a following on the square thing. So we're gonna go here in a little bit to that. And it's sort of like trick or treating, where you know local business is set up, and you wear everybody everybody goes. Um, but anyways, I'm getting ready. Going ahead and getting ready now. So I'm gonna. I just did my makeup. I'm gonna actually wear um, eyeshadow, huh? I'm actually gonna wear eyeshadow today. And this, um, I've had this for like a long time. It's um, what is it? Unique brand. And my Halloween dress is purple and black, which I'll show in a little bit. But um, I'm gonna use the sparkly purple over there, and I'll probably use some black and just make it really Halloweeny. Um, it's been forever since I used eyeshadow, but I love, love using it. Um, it's really fun to put on and to apply. And so that's what I'm doing right now. Then I'm gonna fix my hair. I repurpled it, which I hope worked. I'm, it's hard to tell on the side. It is so, so, so rainy today. Um, but the rain's moving out. It's just still gonna be dreary and it's actually gonna be cold. So I think I'm gonna get to wear my sock head hat. And I've not got to wear it yet, but I just, I really love wearing all my knit stuff. Um, I love fall and winter and it's been summer till like last week. Last week was the first time I could actually wear my, my boots and my socks and everything. Oh, and I got some my Halloween socks on today. Can you see them? I think there they are, my Halloween socks. They're a little bit big. I don't know how that happened, but I accidentally knit them a little bit big and uh, I don't care, I'll wear them anyway. It's slightly irritating, but I, I love them. So, um, I have thought about taking the toe off and like re knitting the toe where they're a little shorter that way, but I probably won't ever do that. It just depends. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I definitely want to wear all them for Halloween, so um, I think they'll be okay. I'll deal with it. Okay, so I can't see anything without my glasses, and I feel like it makes me look really old, but um, hopefully you can see this because I can't tell if it's in focus or not. Um, so I'm putting the. Oh, let me turn this off. Sorry. Um, so. I thought I might show a little bit about how I do my makeup. Um, so I did the sparkly purple. Usually I don't do so dark. Um, I did the sparkly purple all over my eyelid. And um, then I'm going to put some black right in the crease. And see how that looks. Okay, so I got this done. And I, what I ended up doing was putting the black in the crease. And then to blend it in I used a light color. Um, a pale gray and just um, blend it all around um, the top part here and um, in the corner and stuff. I used um, some really dark gray um, liner and then put some um, some mascara on and hopefully it looks good. Um, the lighting in here is really really not good so I'm gonna put my glasses on and just hope for the best I guess um, and then I'm gonna do my hair. Well, this is how the morning has ended up going. It's pretty loud. You're doing a good job, though. So, I'm soaking some yarn. I'm going to try to dye it up. I just um, am so excited about the Comfort Fade Cardi from Drea Renee Knits. So, I'm going to attempt to dye this um, Merino Silk DK Yarn a pale blue or maybe like a pale denim blue this could be a disaster I've never dyed silk before um, so we'll see how it goes I guess so here's what I've got so far sorry about the glare in there um, there's nothing really I can do about it the light on my stove just looks like this so um, the color is not showing up accurate it looks purple in the in the phone here but it's really a blue um we'll see how it works it, it's probably it may probably gonna be too pale but it's better to be too pale than um darker than what I want because I can always add some more dye later um apparently whenever you're dyeing silk you have to make sure you don't get it above 180 and I really need to get like a better thermometer that'll actually like prop up against the side here but I don't know. We'll just hold it. Um, it's nowhere near 180 right at the moment. But 
Um, yeah, I think I may end up having to put some more dye in there, but maybe that will help with the tonal. I'd like kind of a tonal um, color anyway, so that's why I used less water. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it works. This could be end up being a hat instead of the Comfort Fade cardigan. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. So I've ended up adding quite a bit of dye and I'm just kind of waiting around to see what happens when the yarn soaks this dye up. Um, it still looks purple on the screen. It's not purple, it's bluish. Um, hopefully, hopefully it works out like something I can use. Um, so there's more blue. Um, that's what the yarn actually looks like. Okay, honey, just a minute. And I'm just waiting until it gets to 180. Okay. Um, I fixed up, you know, a really fancy thermometer holder here. Um, but hey, it works. So, again, we'll see if this works out. Okay, so, this is a little bit more accurate color representation, a pale blue. Uh, shadows. I should have brought another lot over. But, I think it got to the right temperature. I don't think I got it too hot. It appears to have soaked up the dye very well. And, um... I think it turned out to be pretty much the color that I was looking for. So I'm definitely going to let it sit here for a while and um, cool off. And then I'll get back with you on what the final result ended up being. up with um for the yarn this will be hopefully the second color for my comfort fade cardigan um i ended up using the same mixture of blue as i used yesterday and i added some silver gray which kind of looks a little purpley on here but it, it's almost a purple gray but it's 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 mostly gray um and i just used a paintbrush this really old paintbrush that I have to paint it here and there and do like um I don't know not really speckles I evened it out where it wasn't speckles um so like I dipped it and I did like Jackson Pollock and then I kind of smoothed it out some too but there's some darker bits um like right there where I used a more concentrated blue and um there's some spots where I used a more concentrated gray um gray's not so purple in real life but it still has it does have a very that, that um, gray color does have a very um, purple tint to it um, but when you dye it doesn't it's it's not the, the dry yarn doesn't look quite as purple. it looks more gray but anyway um, that's what I've got right now and it'll just sit here and cool um, and then I'll rinse it off and see what see what we got. Mm -hmm. 